Hi guys, my name is Jovan and I'm the administrator of the Sims Community website. So welcome to a new update overview. We'll be going through some of the new features, improvements and changes to the Sims 4 base game. So let's get started. First off, we have four new roofs which are available in build mode and those are pentagonal, hexagonal, octagonal and round roofs. All those four roofs can be found in the roofs category. We have the new feature for roofs which is called the advanced curvature mode and you can enable this mode by pressing shift plus c on your keyboard gabled and hipped roofs have additional manipulation points so their eaves can be adjusted on all four sides one of the things that they transferred from the since for get to work expansion pack uh the feature which was exclusive to that pack was the photography skill so now the photography skill is available for all of you guys who have the Sims 4 base game and probably don't have the Sims 4 get to work, I'm guessing. So if you don't have get to work, you can now have the photography skill without needing this pack. So they also transferred a three a camera objects and those are the very better digital camera, appreciably average digital camera, and crystal clear digital camera. So you can find those in build mode. You also have new cell phone interactions, which are take selfie, take photo with, take photo off, and take photo. And the photography skill goes from level one to level five, and photos taken with the camera can have frames added to them. They adjusted and changed some things around households. So there's a new My Households panel in the Manage Households screen, which lets you select your favorite households and households which are not your favorite. So what happens to the households which are not your favorite? Well, those households will be deleted after the maximum sim count has been reached. So you have a maximum sim count of 80 sims, uh, 100 sims, 200 sims, and unlimited. But we'll go more over that once we go into the game. So there's a new feature in build mode which lets you shrink objects. So similarly to the size up cheat, you can make objects smaller. So this won't change the animations of objects which are sized down. The animations won't adapt to smaller objects. They'll act like it's a normal sized object. So it's a cheat and you cannot expect your sims to adapt to a cheat. So another thing that they did is that they made the Grimm's Ghoulish guitar optionally available at the main menu. There are also new general issues which they have fixed. So now when hovering over the rotate options for blocks and walls in build mode, objects that will be impacted by the rotate will highlight yellow. Teen Sims will now autonomously place their homework back into their inventory when finished. So this was an issue which I personally hated so much. So I'm so glad that this is fixed. So homework that does end up in public spaces will be cleaned up after the active Sims have left the lot. Children will no longer float while drinking the essence from a cow plant. Um, so these are just some smaller bug fixes. I really want to talk about this. So the game clock should no longer skip forward and back when changing from 3 time speed to ultra speed back to speed 1. So the game clock will no longer stutter once you go from speed 3 to speed 1. And this was a thing that was, that was present since the release of The Sims 4. So I really hope that this is no longer present in the game. So for more bug fixes and everything that they fixed from base game to all the packs you can check out the post that we link down below. So let's get straight into the game. So here we are in the Sims 4 main menu. Before we dive into the live mode, I just want to let you guys know that there is new Simlish soundtrack. So the Sims team added new soundtrack to the pop station and alternative station. We added a full list on our website. Hi guys! Um, no, I shouldn't do that again. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed actually. Um, so I'm just going to show off the new roof types, um, the new roof options, and some other build mode features. So we have this hexagonal roof, um, an octagonal roof, this pentagonal roof, and a circular roof. So you can make these roofs bigger by selecting them and dragging these um, arrows. So you can make them go really up and really go down flat like this. 
and you can also make them they have the same manipulation points like any other roof so you can make them smooth like this or just really pointy and sharp right like, like this so that's when it comes to these new roof types i'm not an expert in building so i'm going to talk about this a lot and, and just put a lot of disclaimers in this video that i'm not an expert in building i'm sure you could make much better examples than me when it comes to these new roof types and options um but i just want to show off the new features so let me just quickly create this room and i think this is the best example for showcasing other new features yep so previously what you could do is that you could drag a roof like this but what happens is that this roof wall um, will also be dragged so you couldn't drag only the roof but what you can do now is that you can you can do that you can drag only the roof without touching this wall so let me just adjust the camera um, so here you can see that this um, wall will stay here while the roof is changed on these sides so you can make only one side of this roof changed by pressing shift like this and you can make it snap right back to this wall or go like this so this is the maximum amount of extending the roof um while we're at this we also have some new roof trims so there are there's this angled out roof trim um i don't know if this is the glitch or is this supposed to be like this um you see this i think this is a glitch um so we have this chamfer roof trim i think it's the same actually wait wait i'm so bad at this and we have the beveled out roof trim okay okay this one's decent this one's really good and you have these all these types of presets so you can make this oh my god okay this preset is really cute i want this i want this in real life so that's when it comes to the new roof trims i went off topic a bit um i wanted to cover these new curvature points first so there are new curvature points while having a roof selected and while pressing shift plus c you will unlock these curvature points so they can be a bit more wavy i don't know how to say it um i'm not again i'm not an expert in building i've never used the, these terms um what i do in the sims 4 is that i only furnish and use load mode features so this is this is still something that's new to me um uh, so yeah they can be really really curvy and you can really go wild with this i cannot wait to check out the gallery um, in a few days, I'm sure you will make some great examples of these new features. So that's when it comes to the roofs. I'm going to showcase the new shrink feature. So this feature is really handy. Um, there are some objects in the Sims 4 which are really huge. Uh, and so this is something that really comes in handy. So for example, we have this carpet from the Sims 4 Toddler stuff. Actually, carpets. Um, rugs. Um, however you want to say it um, so you can make it smaller by pressing the left um, the how can, what's the name of this by pressing the open bracket key so it can go small like this so just to make a comparison this is the original size and this is the smallest size that you can make out of this rug so it's really neat, um, there are just some objects in the game which are really huge and this really comes in handy. So there are also, yeah, your sims will be able to use any type of gameplay objects that you shrink, but the animations won't adapt. So animations and some visual effects which come with certain objects, they won't adapt to the object that you shrink. So that's about it. For build mode, we're going to jab, jump into household manager real quick because there are some new changes to the household management. So this is the new manage households. Um, 
basically it's not new it's improved as you can see we have the my household section here um, so those contain your uh, households which you created played um, or interacted with so all of those count in your sim count here so before we dig into this I just want to let you know that there's a new sim count feature so basically you have 80 150 and 200 sims uh, allowed in your save game and the unlimited of course so after you go over this limit what happens is that sims that you played with or interacted with will just disappear from you for your game in order to optimize your performance so in case you don't want to see your favorite households get deleted or removed from the game the best thing that you can do is that you can select the households that you want to save and just press this move into my households so they'll go into this section and you can see that the more sims you select the bigger um, the closer you are to the sim count cap so that's about it for the manage household section there are some new features in live mode as well i just want to select really cool household let's just let's check out the gods and what they're doing um so what i'm going to cover first in live mode is the photography skill so in case you don't know the photography skill was introduced with the sims 4 get work expansion pack the first expansion pack for the sims 4 and what they've done is that they transferred all the objects necessary as well as the skill from the from this expansion pack get to work to the base game so you no longer uh, need the sims 4 get to work in order to have the photography skill so i'm going to search camera you have new camera objects which are now treated as base game object so you have the barely better digital camera the appreciably average digital camera and this crystal clear digital camera so these are somehow new objects somewhat new objects um which have been treated as get work objects before this update so what you can do now as well is that you can take selfies you can take selfies of yourself take selfies with other sims um let me just find that okay yeah, yeah here's that feature so this is nothing new this is only introduced from get to work to the base game so finally you can take selfies everything that they've promoted since the base game launch um they used a lot of selfie renders and promotional artwork so yeah your scene can finally take selfies now and you have these filters as well you can take photos and um, those photos i think they are storage into your inventory yep so yeah you can basically um put your selfies on the walls of your house so there's more the more so that's about it for photography another thing which i just wanted to see how it works out in the game is the shrink feature and how sims act to it so what i talked about um is that uh, your sims won't adapt to animations their their animations and visual effects won't adapt but they'll still be able to use those objects which are shrunk so for example we have Alexander who's using this toilet um, wait I missed it I missed the animation wait wait okay well he's still hitting that um, he's still hitting the spot right but you can see that the animations won't adapt so that's about it for this update overview video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me guys know in the comment section below what you think about this update. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.